Okay, what up ladies and gents, your favorite Asian robot right here, hopefully still your favorite Darktide partner. And I'm here to talk about what's coming up in Darktide. Okay, so they've actually posted a communication to us about what we can expect to see in Darktide coming up in 2024. Here's what's coming. Alright, let's read through the update first, then I'll talk a little bit about my own judgments, things like that. Let's go through, the, uh, let's go through what they posted first. Okay, here we go. What's coming up in Darktide? Our first update will focus on a comprehensive revamp and expansion of the Penance system, including adding many additional rewards and a completely new way to earn them. We'll be sharing more information on this update by the end of the month along with a dev blog, so keep your eyes peeled on our communication channels to learn more. Following this, we're working on an overhaul of our current itemization process with the, heavy s with the new system. We want to remove a lot of the unpredictable grind that came from an RNG-heavy system, while giving players more agency and a steady manner to progress towards specific loadouts, blessings, and stats refinement. Although these are significant portions of each update, this is not our full plan for 2024. We'll be adding new elements to Darktide throughout the year, including, but not limited to, new missions, new enemies, new weapons, new conditions, and new features alongside balancing updates, quality of life additions, along with some other surprises which we will share in due time. We thank you all for the feedback you've given so far and look forward to sharing these changes and new content with you in the near future and seeing what you think. So what you can take away from this is that number one, the devs are listening. All right. Let me explain that in a bit more detail. Dark Tide is currently at its lowest point. I have never seen numbers this low because last year after the October update, things were looking pretty good. There was a time when I was able to easily get 100 to 200 viewers on a dark tide stream and relax with that so that was uh, pretty cool um now you know i would be lucky to get 10 so it's really a lot nicer to uh enjoy hell divers too where i have very good viewership um so i haven't really streamed dark tide but the numbers are telling because people just aren't interested in dark tide at the moment but there are still players playing so players are still enjoying the game in some fashion which is evident because the peaks are still about 3,400 so that's pretty all right I guess I'm just hoping that an actual update arrives soon that being said I posted about a month ago about the top four reasons why players stop playing dark tide a good number of you on copium said stuff like I bet he just came up with these reasons himself no I actually asked people in another video I asked them what were their reasons I asked them to give me their reasons for leaving and then I put it into this video. But several of these things came up and were talked about in the video, which the devs are looking at. Let's break it down. First of all, they're going to revamp and expand the penance system. Penances have been one of the major gripes from a lot of people because they were designed in an older time. Now there are all these new skills in the game and none of the penances relate to them. It's all for Psyker, for example, it's all literally Brain Burst, which was their only power in the past. So revamping the Penance system? Good. I hope that this will help because this will be important to the new player experience, especially when they want to earn their first cosmetics. And when you guys don't really have a lot of earnable cosmetics, earning their first cosmetic set would be a good thing. It's a bit of positive reinforcement. All right. So I think that that's good for newer players. Then... The next part, which I think is really important because it was literally the number one reason that most people stopped playing Darktide or left Darktide, is the overhaul of the crafting system. In fact, they seem to be overhauling their current itemization process, which I'm hoping means loot as well. Um, because the Emperor's Gifts are like 99% useless once you have earned most of your Tier 4 Blessings, so... Yeah, it's still a great way to get tier 4 blessings, but a lot of the time it's not the stuff that you need and it's stuff that you don't really care about. So it's helpful when you're new. Kind of a kind of a grind when you're not new because you only get one every match and every match is, what, 30 to 40 minutes? Depending on the difficulty you play. So not exactly a great reward. That being said, I am very happy with the rest of the statement because their new system states that they want to remove a lot of the unpredictable grind that comes from an RNG heavy system. The RNG was one of the number one reasons that people left because they hate the fact that this game is literally a gacha based system. 
basically you gotcha to get the stats and then you gotcha for the upgrades. It basically leads to you bricking a lot of stuff and then selling it off anyway when you don't get what you want. This means that the material grind is very, very real and very, very problematic. So the fact that they're talking about now, this is a statement that we can take hopefully at face value. They say that they're giving players more agency and a steady manner to progress towards specific loadouts, blessings, and stat refinement. That is really, really good to me because it means that if I tell people, hey there guys, this is the best search smite psyker build. Oh, but you're going to need like tier four this. You're going to need tier four that. Oh, you're going to need this stats on your search staff. Hopefully every player can have access to that instead of them literally, okay, I've got to grind, I've got to grind and gotcha. Oh my god, I have to gotcha surge staffs until I finally get Warp Flurry 4. This would help tremendously, but the problem is we only know that we're going to get another communication at the end of this month and that's not even when the update is. As far as I can tell, based on this, we will be sharing more information on this update by the end of the month. So this appears to me that they're saying that they're going to talk about this update not that they're going to update yet so those of you guys waiting for the update you might be waiting a little longer okay um quite frankly i would i, I don't want to raise expectations here because i I don't, I don't have any expectations myself my expectations are very limited at this current point in time because uh, i i just don't expect anything right now um I have to say, in comparison to Helldivers 2, their updates are very slow. Helldivers 2 throwing this and throwing that. We already got Shriekers in the game. We're going to get a new Warbond today. It's crazy. Um, so, from my perspective and my point of view, this is a very slow update process. And uh, I, well, at least we're going to get an update on when the update might be coming. Maybe at the end of this month. So, that's a lot of maybes, but it's, if for those of you you know, hoping on hope and a prayer, hopefully that helps, okay? Um, but they have said that this is not their full plan for 2024, so they are adding other stuff, but I'm hoping that their update schedule will be much more rigorous throughout the rest of the year once they get their gears going and, you know, the momentum starts. Hopefully their update process can be rigorous and continuous because it makes very little sense you know, that they're going to add new enemies, new weapons, new conditions, new features. But it, it's already like halfway through March right now. So you got nine months left in the year. And I'm hoping that there won't be a super long vacation process again. Because otherwise you're just going to build up momentum. And it's going to fizzle out next year up until March again. So, fingers crossed for you guys. I'm really hoping that you guys, you know, have a plan. Alright? Because if you want to add all this stuff, have a plan for it. Stick to a timetable, and please, take some recommendations for me. Get a roadmap going. It would really be helpful. Now, before I end this video, here's what I'm going to say. I think that Dark Tide right now, now this is all from my experience playing Helldivers continuously, back-to-back -back streams that are doing really well on viewership. Here's some things that I think could really help out Dark Tide right now. Okay. You guys need a Game Master. This, I think, has been something so successful for Helldivers 2 that shamelessly copying it would be the right move for you guys. Helldivers 2 has a game master called Joel. What does Joel do? So Joel um, basically decides to reinforce certain planets, you know, he decides the major orders, stuff like that. He helps to evolve the war situation. Why can't we give Catfish these powers and turn her into a game master? This is the question that I want to ask. Because if we could imagine imagine this, right? Tertium could be a war type situation, right? Heretics could push in on various areas of the hive, and therefore we would have missions specific to those hive. If they were attacking Hab Draco continuously, like honestly, the Terminates attack Angel's Venture like pretty much 24-7. How many times have I fought in the defense of Angel's Venture? And I don't get bored of it, even though it's the same missions fighting on Angel's Venture, because guess what? It's Angel's Venture. The Terminates are pushing. We gotta solve the situation. Give Catfish these powers. Why not? Why not? You give her these powers and like turn her into a Game Master and all of a sudden, Tertium becomes alive. It is no longer a static situation where, you know, here's the mission board, you just go do whatever. There's no real feeling of progress. It's stagnant. 
But with Helldivers 2, there's a push and pull. There's a feeling of progress. There's a feeling of, hey, you know, sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Maybe one of these days we'll get to the inner terminate planets that we've literally never liberated. Maybe we'll get to see worlds that we've never seen before. This could be something that Helldiver, uh, sorry, that um, <laughs> Dark Tide implements, you know? Hopefully not in Dark Tide 2. I was about to say Helldivers 2, then I thought, then my brain went to Dark Tide 2. Hopefully not in Dark Tide 2. Hopefully we see it in Dark Tide right now, you know? I would love to see that. This is one suggestion that I think could really bring a lot of life to the game. So, devs, if you're going to consider anything, please do consider this. All right? That is all I wanted to say. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this because me personally, um, okay, we're waiting some more. But they seem to be promising good stuff. So, hopefully in a couple of months we'll have a good update that can bring a lot of people back i guess we'll see but for now ladies and gents thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys well on my next video whenever there's an update all right catch you later